Hi and welcome to Tina One Kenobi's channel. I'll take you with me today to the attic yarn and hobby studio. This is on the third floor of the West Drive Commercial Center in Marikina Heights. This is about 20 to 30 minutes drive from my house in Quezon City. It was an Easter Sunday when I checked out their space and they're open. And if you can see by the door, you can see some information about the studio, even the hours of operation. As you enter, you'll notice their very famous wall, Who the Craft Are You? It's a famous tagline of this studio. So before we check out and explore the entire craft space, let's check out the Tamiya area. So there are a lot of guys here who are racing against each other with their Tamiya cars or kits. You can tweak your kits or your cars on the tables provided here. Just bring your own toolboxes and tools along with your Tamiya units. These guys can spend the entire day just tweaking their units and then racing against each other. Let's check out the racetrack. This model car sure has a need for speed. So now let's move on to the main craft area. So this is where the reception is. You'll be given like a time card that you can register for how long you want to stay in the craft space. It's like a library card, sorta. They even have a Bundy clock. So look at that space. They have long tables, several chairs. They have pocket areas for smaller tables for a smaller group. One to four people can occupy these pocket spaces. This section is for journaling. You can see the sticker books, the different pens in different colors and thickness. Also, this section is where the calligraphy materials are, the inks. I recognize the inks because this is from Craft Central. So if you're into calligraphy, you can check out this area. For journaling, they have several sticker kits and notepads. give you inspiration as well they have like a sample journal page right here on the lower shelf you'll see a typewriter that I presume you can also use for your journaling and this intrigued me this is a Game of Thrones 3d mask kit On this section, more of the sticker kits, sticker books for journaling, and also a few of the washi tapes. I'm sure they're going to add more washies in the coming days. And these are two clients who are trying out acrylic painting. So you see this is a shelf that contains several colors of acrylic paint. These are paint by numbers kits that are also for sale. And the different canvases in different sizes and shapes. And also watercolor kits and palettes.
You can also see brushes that you can use for painting in different materials and sizes. Now on the next pocket space is for coloring, specifically colored pencils, charcoal, um, lead, colored pencils, they even have Crayolas. So this is really a nice space to nurture your creativity in whatever form of art or crafts that you are interested in. So this is diamond painting that I know that a lot of you are into right now. This is macrame. I'm not into macrame but I love the colors that I bought several of these macrame cords because they're so yummy. These are DMC um, materials. This section is for cross stitching. There you go, you can see the kits. They can, you can use as a guide for your cross stitching uh, work. And yummy colors of the threads as well. This next section is the sewing space. So you can see a singer sewing machine and a brother sewing machine on two separate tables. They even have a half mannequin that you can use for when you sew your clothes. If you see on the shelves, they have plenty of fabrics that you can buy by the yard and also threads and other sewing peripherals and accessories that you can use and buy while you do your sewing so you can buy your materials here or you can bring your own and just do your sewing projects here and use the sewing machines that are available oh this is a lovely dream catcher look at that it's so big now this section is for tufting you know um, these are sample of tuf tufting products that you can make. Materials for tufting and also they have a big tufting gun right over there. There. So now we move on. Oh, before I forget, hello Paco. This is a a cute alpaca okay Paco so now we proceed to the crochet and knitting space I mean gosh okay before we move on to the um, crochets and yarns and everything these are finished products that are also for sale so if you can take a look this is one section where you have yarns and crochet threads and containers upon containers of these yarns in different colors and materials that you can use for crochet and knitting I have a cousin who's into this and she'll go gaga over this space and the vast amount of yarns and oh my goodness look at that okay we proceed with the bead section in different colors see they have it in all colors they have glitter powder there you go this is a more shimmery variant Now this section has the resin bottles. So just be careful when using resin, it must be in an open space with air flowing freely and as much as possible use a mask. You know those heavy duty masks, not the face mask that we use. This section is for clay. 
clay making and the accessories for molding your clays are also here so these are the details about renting the space and the rates and all that so this is a nice place to cultivate your creativity and since I came here on an Easter Sunday they have like a pick an egg and you win a voucher and you know what I won I won an hour's worth of cold crafting so thank you so much the attic so if you get hungry while crafting and they have a no food policy inside the studio don't worry they have lots of restaurants on the ground floor and lots of parking spaces as well so I hope to see you guys here and let's go and craft and cultivate our creativity